Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal. Create a new composition, name it as logo reveal. Now for this composition, I will set time duration to just 7 seconds. Perfect. Now let's add logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Perfect, now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. For this logo composition, in effects and preset, search for Vegas. Add Vegas to logo composition. For Vegas. In image contours, change channel to alpha. Now in segments. We will set segments to 1. Now go at 1 second. Create keyframe for length. Now at start of the timeline, change length to 0. Now change blend mode to stencil. Now here I will set width to, 15, you can set width depending on your logo. Change end opacity to, 1. Set hardness to, 1. You can see the preview. Now press U to view keyframes, select keyframe, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to the logo composition. Here you can set any color of your choice for the outline. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for CC radial blur, add it to the adjustment layer. For blur, Set type to, fading zoom. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for amount. Now at one second, change amount to, minus 50. Press U to view keyframes. Now move 10 frames forward, create keyframe for amount. Now about 2 seconds and 5 frames. Set amount to, 0. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's edit the speed graph. Make sure you are on the edit speed graph, now adjust the speed graph as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for curve. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now for curves, change channel to alpha. Now adjust the curve as shown. Perfect. Now for adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to adjustment layer. Set the fill color as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for simple choker. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now set choke mat to, 3. You can see the preview. Now let's create duplicate of this logo composition, place it above adjustment layer. Here you can see the preview.
Now we will place this adjustment layer at 2 seconds. Here for both logo composition, I will place the end keyframe of Vegas at 2 seconds. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo composition, press T to bring up opacity. Now at near about 5 frames, create keyframe for opacity. Now at start of the timeline, set opacity to 0%. Now let's place this composition at 4 seconds. Now let's create a new null object. Select all logo compositions, parent it to null layer. For null layer, press S to bring up scale. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for scales. Now at 3 seconds, change scale value. Here I will set it to near about 190%. Now move 10 frames forward. Create keyframe for scale. Now at 4 seconds. Change scale to 100%. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new composition. Name it as Glossy Logo. Now add logo composition to the timeline. For logo composition, in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the logo composition. Now change the map white color as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for find edges. Add it to the logo composition. For find edges, change blend with original to 80%. Now in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the logo composition. Set blur radius to 1. Iteration to 1. Now let's pre-compose the logo composition. Here I will name it as logo map. Now add reflection map composition to the timeline. Let's scale it to 50%. Now add logo composition to the timeline. For reflection map, Change track mat to alpha mat logo. Now hide this logo map composition. For reflection map, in effects and preset, search for CC glass. Add it to the logo composition. For CC glass, change bump map to logo map. Change softness to 65. Change height to 100. Set displacement to minus 145. In light, set light to point light. Now in effects and preset, search for CC blob eyes. Add it to the reflection layer. For CC blob eyes, change blob layer to logo map. Change softness to 9. Change cutaway to 0. Perfect. Now in logo reveal composition. Let's create a new solid layer. Set color to white. Now from project panel, 
Add the glossy logo composition to the timeline. Now for solid white layer, change track matte to, Luma matte glossy logo. Here I am using the latest version of After Effects, so you won't see that option. Here you need to select the glossy logo, use this to switch between Alpha matte and Luma matte, here you can select Invert matte. Here for this glossy logo composition, I will place it at 2 seconds and 10 frames. Here you can see the glossy effect over the logo. Now let's create a new composition. I will name it as Tagline. Here I will set width to 800 and height to 100. Here let's add the text. Adjust the font size. Perfect. For this text layer, I will use Montserrat font family and style to medium. Now let's animate the text, for text layer. From animate, select tracking. Now at 1 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for tracking. Now at 15 frames, change tracking to, 30. Perfect. Now press P to bring up position, at 1 second, create keyframe for position. Now at start, lower the position as shown. Now press U to view all created keyframes, select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Here if you want you can reduce the font size. Perfect. Now let's add the tagline composition to the logo reveal composition. Place it below the logo. Now position it at near about 4 seconds. Perfect. For this tagline composition. In effects and preset, search for fill, add fill to tagline. Here you can set the color of your choice. Perfect. Now select all the compositions and layers. Recompose them. Name it as Reveal. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Background. Now in Effects and Preset, search for Gradient Ramp. Add it to the background layer. Now here set the start and end color as shown. Now adjust the start and end position of ramp. Place it below the reveal composition. Now let's create duplicate of the reveal composition, for below composition, in effects and preset. Search for fill, 
add fill to reveal composition. Now set fill color as shown. Now in effects and preset, search for CC radial fast blur. Set amount to 80. Set zoom to darkest. At start of the timeline. Position the center as shown. Create keyframe for center. Now at end of the timeline. Change center as shown. Set zoom to brightest. Now at 5 seconds, create keyframe for amount. At end of timeline, set amount to 0. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.